Mutin Dan Yama in second and Lungile Gongo in third. We almost had a short course. Because we got two turns at Milton. Yeah. And they were going to send us down the first one. And so I overruled them and went to the second one. Fourth runner across the line, Anthony Godongwana. Running there in the colours of Transnet. Time on the clock for him, 3116. <laughs> Testing microphone, there we go, thank you very much. Runner number five coming across the line in Cotonati for Tantia, running the colors of Line of Empire Okay, boys, we're up and running, nice. Hold up. Next runner coming in, Dallas of Aussie is good late to his barefoot. That's full way to Mbukushe. Also coming in now, Unati Teta. In the colors of Atlantic. And that's Godwin Godwin running in the colors of New Balance. Well then, guys, time on the clock now, 32 minutes 32. Also home now, Dwayne Fortain there running for Bitfest, well done. 32.50 on the clock. Now they're starting to come through thick and fast, the Iteko guys are here. Lulami Mabona, Abukile Hintongana, Loyanda Kolo of Pro, and Babalo Hambi there of VOB. Babalo Hambi will be our junior winner of the day. They're in the colors of Iteko. Well done, Terence Khan. Second home in the junior category. Victor Masopi and Enver Pedro over the line now. Well done, guys. The well one Graham Katzen. According to my computer, he is first home in the veteran category today, the 40 to 49. Christopher Carl, sir. Hope you had a good run. 33 43 on the clock now. I'm just going to walk a little further up and see what kind of range we've got. Okay, it should be fine because you've got the, the arrow, yeah. Chris, Lu Yon Tando over the line there. Ricardo Jafta finishing up now. Sean Abrahams, former SA 800 meter champion, running in the colors of Line F Africa Iteko, finishing there just over 34 30. David Peterson, also another well known runner there in the colors of Dwarf Feed. He will be third in the veteran category, 34 51 on the clock. Ashley de Clare finishing up. In the colors of the defense force, Wongani Mplan Lose. Kandile Joseph, ready for Eastern Scryfontaine. Well done, young man. Your time today, 35.22. Good morning, Michael McKaigan of UCT. Good to see you out here. 
Andre Africa coming in. Dimitri Bitboy. Nicholas Rupanga in the colours of Celtic Harriers. He's better known as a trail runner. He's also known for being a big smiler. How's it, Nicholas? Good to see you. Also finishing up moments, Tienkamp and Lungile in Dakar. Abraham Hassan Steady Machangura. What a lekker name for a runner. But Lady Nolene Conrad! Nolene, I'm sorry they put the banner up in your face there, but they didn't realise that you're not as tall as the rest of us. I couldn't see you first. Tazama, April, second lady across the line today in the 10K. So we've got our visitors from Gauteng, Nolene Conrad running for the Net Bank Running Club. Tazama, April there in the colours of Transnet. And third woman over the line, Fortunate Chizivo running for the Max Delete team. Formerly known as Mr. Price, now known as Max Delete. Known and steel of UCTO across the line. Time there, 37.06. Ryan Scott, I did not see you finish, my co-commentator for the day. Nombu Yisi Seti, fourth woman across the line. Well done, local runner here. Line of Africa, Reteco. Ryan Scott, how was your run? It's a lot better than yours, sure. Uh, 10K is better, actually. How was it uh, on the finish line? What did the winners do? Well, you know, those of us who stand at the finish line here, we're making sure that those of you doing the running feel welcomed and, you know, appreciated. That's what we're here for. That's, That's a nice sprint finish. finish. Well, well done. done. Angelo Mateus, Tobias Philander finishing up there. Time on the clock, 37.47. We've got Katy Perry singing her new anthem, Raw, in the background, especially for all you runners. Chief on Vake all across the line now. Well done. And I also see Tanya's, Tanya Scott having finished there. Sorry, I wasn't watching as she came across the line. I think Tanya will be our sixth woman home. Richard Clark wearing his shoe socks. Richard, who is well known for having been part of the Unogwaja Challenge, the guys and girls who cycled from Cape Town to Peter Maritzburg and then ran the Comrades. Also coming in now, Clive Owen, who will be our first Grandmaster across the line in the 10 km. Well done, Clive, in the colours of Edgemead. I also see that Pamela Mojica was our first junior female across the line. Matt Knight. Welcome to the finish line, 39.24 on the clock for you. Pussy Siwe Gwala, third uh, junior female, just ahead of her, who was Amy Abrahams, our second junior female. Ludwig Lilly, welcome to the finish line, my friend, in the colours of Durbanville, Plexus Durbank. And Ludwig will be the second master, 50 to 59, 8 kilogram of the line. Michael Carodas, welcome. You've just done it in 40 minutes, well done. Mondi Tutani, welcome to the finish line, young man. Annalene Ruffy, my friend, welcome to the finish line. Time on the clock for you, 40 minutes 22. Maria Snell, did you have fun? Chris Wickham, welcome to the finish. Okay, 
Kyle Cottle, Marshall Swartz, 40 minutes 53 now. Folks, don't forget, this is of course the Cape Town City Marathon 10 kilometer, the accompanying short event that goes with the main event being the marathon. Our 10K runners will be finishing anything between 30 odd minutes and maybe two hours. Leading marathoners should be in in just over two, maybe 2.10. So there's still a bit of time to wait for them. You'll see there are two clocks on the finish line. If you are running into the finish, the clock on the left says 51 minutes, the other clock says 41. That means the marathon is 10 minutes ahead of the 10, oh, sorry, the, yeah, I'm gonna start that again. The marathon started 10 minutes before the 10 kilometer, hence the two clocks. Steve Atwell of ATC finishing up now. Well known in this area as a coach, triathlon expert. Guys from Edgemead making sure they all make it to the finish line together. Nobody got lost. Dominique Rivera, Heinrich Barnos, Shiraz Osman and Brent Janiri all home. Also coming in now, Jonathan D'Souza. Uh, is that a salute, guys? Keelan van Breda is also finishing up. Marietta Strauss, hello Essie. Dag sê, sy is twee, sy is eerste vandag in die vrouwe meesters kategorie. Barry Bester across the line, second in the Grandmaster category for me. Quite a sprint finish there, well done guys. Takuma Kaibara. Jeremy Thompson and Cecil Rothy finishing up now just a little bit behind his wife Annalyn. Cheryl De Lange second in the women's veteran category there in the colors of New Balance Multisport. Boyd Roberts and Ari Goliath coming in as well now. For those of you looking for your results, go to finish finish time, that is. There's only one finish, let me say it again. www.finishtime.coza. That's, of course, the provisional results, and they are already going up onto the website. Of course, once the officials have made everything official, then the official results will be available there. Also coming in now, Mubin Fahir of Iteco, Darren Robertson finishing up here. Coming home, Mark Smith, Goth Dorman, Joey Kempfer, all across the last finishes. Matt, well done guys. Five on the clock now, 43 minutes and 59 seconds. Quinton Cornbrink, have you had fun young man? And don't forget guys, we've got the wonderful photographers from Jetline Action Photo on the finish line. So make sure you smile. If you want to stop and do your makeup just before the last corner, that's fine by us. Check your hair. I see Hans asleep finishing there. He's our third Grandmaster across the line today in the 10K. Third male Grandmaster, of course. Also finishing up Christopher Hearn, Loazi Pambuka, and it's Riyad Isaacs in there in the colors of Iteco. Karav Korta, welcome to the finish line. Ntateng Lolwana in the women's race finishing up. Rian van Eren in Stellenbosch. Wahid Abrahams, hello my friend. Cyril Wilson and Brandon Gallant finished. 45 minutes, 15 seconds. Stuart Schillinglaw across the line. That's Craig Stanley finishing up now. Adam Schur is also in. Jared Collins. Now we've got a visitor from RAC, Kirsten Ings. Welcome to the Cape.
Tanya Cup finished there third in the women's veteran category. And that's Bev Charters of Axis VOB finishing up there. She's second in the women's masters category. More finishers coming in now. We've got Reza Khan, Molly, Soli Malazzi, Lee Roman, Joe Green, Azabella, Tiamela, Peter Phillips, Sole Kile Lungile, Gary Grant is in. Madel Duplessis also finishing now. I see Stuart Abbott finishing and Glenn Butchinski, Darren Hoffmeyer, Christian Fuchs, Sonia Laxton, you're over the line, you are finished. And Sonia Laxton is the winner of the Women's Grandmaster section. I believe she's going to be heading out onto the route with husband Ian and they're going to go find their daughter Kim to follow her progress in the marathon. You could see all the Laxtons down in the Cape visiting us. Well done to all our finishers across the line now. Let's get a few names here. Vicky Polideru, Malinge Mjellelele, Glenn Villeman, Dean Snitherman, Sarah Payne, Melakaya Nuchingwa, John Sherry, Shelbourne McCormick, Nick Hodgson, Emily Hodgson finishing together. Well done, folks. Janine Abrahamson, oh, wow. well Peter van Nieuwenhuis and René Viers, David Schockert, Piri Krunewald, Miranda Ward. Hello, Miranda. Good to see you out today. Andy Lucas is in, Gareth Payne, Albert Berger, Eugene Treacy, Rebecca Payne, Marcus Martini, Muhammad Ali. Really? We've got a Muhammad Ali here today. Bianca Marie, Eugene Marie across the line. Time on the clock now, 48.57. Hello, Vicky! Natalie Davids in now, Roscoe Davids. Sorry, I got that name wrong. Well done to all our finishers coming home in the 10k now. Lots of them, I'm only going to call out all their names, there's just too many. 49 minutes, 24 seconds on the clock. Once you've turned that last little right-hand corner, the timing mat's right in front of you. That is the finish line. That's when you get to stop your watch. Don't forget to smile for the Jetline action photo photographers. So when your race pictures arrive, you actually look like you enjoyed yourself. 49 minutes, 43 on the clock. If you want to break 50, now's your chance. 10 seconds to go to break 50 minutes. Come on, Helderberg Harriers. You know you can do it. There we go. 49, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50 minutes on the clock in the 10K. Hi, guys. See you tomorrow. I take it you don't need James anymore? No, 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 I'm not the substitute. Because James, you will never be. There is that, yeah. I need something to stop that. Oh, Trish right. is having a problem. We, we seem to be coming. I'm sure that'll be fine. Most of us aren't coming anywhere near this point. No. But I think it's when people come across here to speak to them. Right. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. More finishes up. Lindelani, Dingenblela, Hugo Sloper, Jakub Smai, 
David Sloper and Brett Pum are heading into the finish now. Shaheem Hendricks, Desmond Robin, Devin Cripwell all turning the last corner to finish up the Cape Town City 10 kilometre. Who else do we have here? Adnan, Emeron, Jerry Naidu, Wall Collin, Ryan Knott, Matthew Wrightford, Hendricks, Neyman. Hello, Tina Harkett finishing up there. Warren Mitchell, Muhsin, Muhsin. Andrea Swartz and Sean Diamond are in now as well. David Kempel, Gavin Bartis, Rita Hartley, Carla Bat. Welcome to the finish line. Lots of runners here. Come and get a medal, then go and get a nice cup of cold coke to quench that thirst that you've built up on the 10k run. Also coming in now, Luvuyo Makatesi, Makatesi, I mean. Russell Moss, Zulani Mayakiso coming in. Well done. Alistair Gladden turning the last corner. Time on the clock, 51.46. As opposed to everybody else who you rub up the wrong way. I don't know. <laughs> Well done guys and girls, this is the finish line the once you have, and announce all the Celtics people please. Once you go past the photographer you are finished 5233 on the clock now. I see Emma Wilson Poe and Vanessa Rogers finished. Coming in now, Magdalena London, Elton Bassader notes. I see you, I see you. There we go, that's the way to finish a race. And Marita Herbert snuck past me there for a sec. I missed her. I also saw a Pixie Spark finishing. Welcome to the finish line, runners. As you pass the photographer, yeah, you're going to go across the, the tiny mats, then you know you've finished. Time on the clock now, 53 minutes and 32 seconds. That's a 10.5 according to one person's GPS, but of course, don't forget, those units are never 100% accurate. Hello, Helen. Welcome to the finish line. Kate Lewin, welcome to the finish line. Other finishers coming in. Bruce Perry, Desiree Rex, Taryn Munro is in. Esther Funnels, Edmund Van Vake, Eugene Kukumur coming in. Yaku Lindfeldt and Adrian Phipps. Lots of runners coming into the home section now. You've all broken an hour quite comfortably. It's now 54.25 on the clock. Well done. Good running, folks. Hope you've had a good run today at the Cape Town City 10 kilometer. Kenwan Smart, Dwayne Mostert, Lon Decker, Mia, Eugene Lowe, welcome to the finish. Also coming in now, uh, Amber Cameron, Majid Wali, Yusuf Hanslow, Sadika Jadwat, Anwar Kasim, hello there. Mahta Detoy into the last corner as well. Kochiro Saito, welcome to the finish line. Well done ladies. Time on the clock now, 55.13. Nice and comfortably under an hour, well done. Teresa Isaacs into the last corn. No? <laughs> I just said the last corn. That's it, Pylons. That's it, Omidrai. Welcome to the finish line. 
Bodine Nell finishing up now. Maria Loberg, Nicolene Funnemann, but Glenn Blexley. Hello, Paul Murphy. Paul is going to be coming around the corner. Paul carrying the uh, uh, pacing flag there. Well done, Smurf. The time on the clock now, 56 minutes, 28 seconds. Paul is spinning Susan Hutchinson, Lindsay Walker, Sean Gard, Rita Fergier, Ibrahim Stemmet, Wayne Solomon, welcome. Darren Blichner, Clive yes. Ulrich, Ahmad Peters and Rachel Stone Street also in. Hello, Charlene Martins. Charlene coming into the last little section now in the colours of Tiger Berg. Hello, Charlene. Also coming home now, Ibrahim Koska, Mark Besson, Lucinda Newby. Hello to Abdul Razak Sali. Well then guys and girls, if you look on the right hand side of the finish line, you'll see your time on the clock, 57.25 now. For those of you into the last little stretch here before the finish line. Well done guys and girls, you've broken 60 minutes here at the Cape Town City 10 kilometer. It's now 57.50 on the clock. That's it, VOB. Nice little salute for the camera. Don't forget, folks, we've got Jetline action photo on the finish line. So wave, smile, salute, jump for joy, whatever you want to do in your photograph. But whatever you do, look happy. Well done, Ruth. Welcome to the finish line, guys and girls. Time on the clock now, 58.38. Sub 60, that means you've done under six minutes a K. Well done. Once you've passed this, passed over the timing match here, past the photographer, you are finished. Fifty-nine minutes on the clock exactly now. One minute to go if you want to break one hour in the Cape Town City 10 kilometer race of 2013. Come on boys and girls, let's bring it home. 40, there's 35 seconds to go to break an hour. If that's your goal today, you want to run a sub 60, now's your chance. Bring it home, bring it home. For now, come on boys and girls, I see we've got a couple of people putting the sprint in. They want to break that 60 minute barrier. 59.45 on the clock now. Come on guys and girls, all the way to the finish line. Bring it home people, cheer them on. 70 finishes across the line now, even though we've got a little screen here to tell us who's coming in. But this man, I do, Anna, Mohammed, 
Well known journalist in the Western Cape, running in the colours of Iteko, Line of Africa Iteko. Folks, your clock is on the right hand side. It now says one hour and one minute exactly. Welcome to the finish line. And I see some of my trail running friends are running here in road running as well. Good to see you up. Well, hello there, runners. Welcome to the finish line. You'll come across the timing net and you'll see a photographer smile. That is a really smile. Come on, you know you know how. Time on the clock now, one hour, two minutes and nine seconds. You'll get a medal. Once you go past that, the medals, you can get yourself a nice cup of cold coke. Thanks to one of our main sponsors here, Coca-Cola from Peninsula Beverages. Thank you very much to them for once again being out here supporting road running. That's the way it's done. Top form. Smiling for the camera all the way. You guys had breakfast? No. <laughs> okay, now, off you, off you, uh, yeah, I've got no cash on me at the moment. No, I'm no, no, you know something? You know something? I would like to, but it's going to make my mouth all sticky for talking, so I'm, I'd have to wait for later. I need, I need breakfast. <laughs> I'm very tempted, but... I thought you might like to mention something. That we can do. <laughs> have you got a step of stand here? It's called a drive. <laughs> no, that's yeah, right. Really Smoothies and breakfast. Yeah, probably I Okay, and where are you positioned? Um, all the vendors are down there. Right. Near the yellow yeah. arch. And your name is? Karen. Karen. For those of you who might be a little bit more curved and white. This is Karen. Karen. Yeah, it's got a stand here. She's got farm yogurt. It's lacquer. It's like, it looks like I'm usually mixed with the yogurt, but it's a fruit as well. You know, if I wasn't talking on the microphone, I'd be chucking into a breakfast right now. There's different flavors too. Fish. I'm definitely coming for breakfast just now, Karen. Karen is the on the here the and food 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 over the hour mark, but everyone with a smile on their face, hands in the air, amazing feet, well done, huge sense of gratification here, look at that, they're loving it. So tell me why you ran the 10 k how was it? Perfect race today, Sean, uh, beautiful conditions, well marshaled, and it's a really fast course. Hardly any uphills, just those little slight ones, perhaps in the waterfront, but uh, generally easy going, and a fantastic place to go for a PB perhaps, or just to enjoy your first 10 Okay, I'll tell you what, next year you can stay on the spot and I'll run the 10k. Deal. Deal. Or perhaps uh, earn it if we feel brave enough, but that's not hard. You never know, I might just, just sign up for the marathon next year. I'm sort of trying to think about the end of that again. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of uh, first timers in the 10k here today, and a lot of people on the sidelines too that are giving perhaps I should have taken part, we should have, and uh, we'll see you again next year because this is really is a, a fantastic event. That it is, Ryan, that it is. This is started off as a marathon and they brought in the 10k race to make it accessible for family members, friends and beginners, injured and runners. And this race now has over 6,000 entries provided across the two races. It is just getting bigger and bigger with each year that passes. The organisers of the Cape Town City Marathon say they want to turn this into a big city marathon to rival the New York, London, Paris, Boston and Chicago marathons of all. And I believe they can do it. Hello, Mike Taylor coming up from there. Mike in the colours of Tiger Well, I can believe there's 6,000 runners, they stream in now in the 10k over an hour, and uh, there's still a huge people for these runners, and all so, 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 so to finish here today. 
think uh, what uh, did you pass maybe the halfway mark, mark on the, uh, on the uh, actual, actual people, people in the field? field? I think you know this, though. I think you still find there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of team racing out there still. Well, we're going to look forward to all of them finishing a huge amount of faces. Here we go. Pizza's pumped. Well done, and we'll hope to see you next year as well. Don't forget, folks, we've got the jet line action photographers on the finish line. So don't forget to smile. Show us those curly whites. Okay, just don't go crazy like that. <laughs> no, no, it's alright, you're forgiven. We'll give you a medal anyway. Hey, How are you doing? Cool, did you rest? Yeah, yeah. I don't go. Well done, Rose. This is the finish line. Once you've passed the match and the photographer, the time on the clock now is 1 hour 6 minutes and 52 seconds. Yeah, I'll say, we're driving 55. Can you tell me, like, under 955 or what? Yeah, I've got under 655. And that's it, Come on in, Come on in, Come on in, well done, young lady. I see we've got some really active supporters next to the finish line. It's lovely to have a rent in front of us today. Don't be shy to clap your hands and cheer these runners in. Runners love to be appreciated. A couple of those supporters look like they actually also ran this morning. Amazing, they still got the energy to cheer. Perhaps they actually should have run a little bit quicker. What was the winning time, Sean? I'm sure the uh, people that are crossing the line now would be enjoying doing that. I'm sure it was around 30 minutes, uh, 31 minutes. I've just uh, checked my notes. The winning time was 30 minutes and 9 seconds. That is Bullock Bullock. If I do the uh, mass quickly, it's just over 3 minutes a K. See, so I'm a bit like that. So 10K. In fact, it is exactly three minutes a day because it's not, it, it would not be three minutes and one second per day, it would be three minutes and 0.9 of a second per day. Well, that's a phenomenal time and great training by the leaders. We did see them high down the promenade and a very impressive win in just half an hour for 10 days. I think on a good day, I can probably do uh, about uh, uh, maybe six days in 30 minutes. Welcome to the finish line, don't forget to smile. Hello Mike! Mike and the leaders of VOP. And a lovely lady from Atlantic with a lovely wave. Well done. I like that wave too. It was very well done. The Queen is here. 1 hour 8 minutes 52 on the clock now. You guys and girls have done a nice solid sub 70. Sub 7 minutes a K. Come on, young man, you can't walk across the timing mat. You've got to smile for the camera. <laughs> That's it, girls. Well done. Welcome to the finish. Time of the clock, one line, 16. If you want to break 70 minutes, you've got 40 seconds to go. For those of you coming around the last corner, come on, pick those knees up to get that little sprint finish going. 30 seconds to go to break 70 minutes. Come on, boys and girls, bring it home. One oh nine forty two. Come on, come on. One oh nine fifty on the clock. You've got ten seconds to go to break seventy. Pick those knees up. Come on, HB. Five seconds to go to break seventy. And that is seventy minutes on the clock right now. Well, 
Oh, hello, Lydia, Billy, and Marcus. Well done. They've got their names on the t shirt, that's why I know them. Very nice. For those of you who are here to support the youngsters running in the 4.2 Mini Elite Marathon that has just started at the 38 kilometer mark of the marathon, you will see those runners flying into the finish shortly. They will qualify to run in the final day of that development race. The 4.2 kilometer will be in soon. Well done, runners. Bring it on in into the finish line. One hour, 11.57 on the clock now. The Packers. We had an update, update from out on the course, course there are approximately 80 runners have already gone through, through the halfway point of the marathon. Now, the time of the top of the marathon is currently 1 hour 22. Let's say as a ballpark figure, the top runners went through in about 1.15. In fact, they should have been faster than that. Which means, we could be looking at a winning time of the marathon of 2.20. So we did say the conditions are favourable for fast times of course, favourable for fast times flat and fast, and uh, so that wouldn't really surprise me if someone's in good form, got lots of great runners here, and we'll be excited to see if they can get it uh, nice, low, two hour times, which uh, is perfect for fast times. Yeah, that's for sure, right? This is the kind of course where if a top runner comes here in good form and puts his head down to runners, a sub 2 10 time is impossible. We don't see it too often in South Africa. Yeah. And uh, that will be really exciting when we're going to get this crowd around the guys. And we'll keep you informed and see how the guys do when they get close to the line. In the meantime, we've got a race with the race from a 38th day of the marathon. 4.2k. They're calling it the mini elite marathon. It's 4.2, 10% of a marathon. And the runners who are taking part there and are they going to be finishing right here on the finish line as well? Yes, they will come streaming into exactly the same finish line as all 10 days currently finishing. You will see them that have put the race on and these will be a lot of youngsters. Because of them, as I promise you, they will be sprinting like lips for the past all these 10K runners. Yeah, I'm I'm saying, I feel the same. I love watching these youngsters in the better races because, because these are the stars of tomorrow, tomorrow, so to say. The future stars, they are such promising athletes. I can't wait to see the finish today. In the meantime, well done to all our 10k runners coming in here. One hour, 14.35 on the clock now. This young lady here finishing up. So well done. Lovely to have you up with us today. Hello, West Coast. Oh, so he's going up. And that young man flashing his arms there, he wants a medal, he says. Is it West Coast and it's Oh, well, beautiful. Ronald Dawn, Chris Tuna finishing there. I always like to every now and again just have a little bit of silence for a few Thank you, it's very raw, and I was like saying, come on! I said, turn the volume up, and as soon as the song finished, all the games are packed, so they're like, turn it down, turn it down! 
to the DJ. Give us a bit of volume. Come on. For all you runners, we're playing the song just for you. Normally we keep it at the news line and say you're going to show it. Every now and again announce it. You've got a car key at the finish line. You can claim it. Tell us what it looks like. We do have a car key that was picked up just after McDonald's at the main traffic intersection. Not just a car key, but if you can come and describe it, if you have a lot of cars, you can come to the finish line at the car key. And we'll keep it for you there. So the car key has been handed in in case you're looking for it. For all our kids today, we've got the National Geographic Kids Magazine here at the finish line. If you want a copy, okay. come and grab one. Yeah. Scott is looking for you. Well, 
Alright guys, let's take a little bit of a little bit of a walk, a little bit of a shuffle. Hello uh, Andy! Andy Whittle in the Cousin of West Coast. Oh, it's 25 minutes. What a beautiful morning out for these runners that are still streaming in the 10K. And then an hour 35 has passed so far in America, so we can expect them getting just over half an hour, about 40 minutes time. That will be the leaders, and then of course we can expect the rest of the finishers for another six hours after that. It's going to be a long day. Also nice to see so many of the local running clubs have brought their gazebos. They've put them up here on the field next to the finish line. I see lots of clubs have brought the eats and drinks and some of even brought chairs. So if you're looking for your club and you're hungry and thirsty, head over there. Otherwise, on the forecourt area, right there next to where the, the marathon started, we've got food and drink stalls. So if you're hungry and thirsty, you go and support the, the local businesses and make sure that you don't go hungry or thirsty. How many songs are on this loop? Four hours. Okay, four hours. Yeah, Katie Perry's not You know what? I feel more cuts. I feel more cuts. If we hear Katie Perry's voice, then I'm okay. We don't that's the way it's done. Just walk over the finish line. Big smile for the camera. There we go. You guys are experts at this. Time on the clock now, 1 hour 27 and 50 seconds. If you are running the 10 kilometer race and you are coming towards the finish line, you now have two minutes to go just to break the 90 minute barrier, sub nine minutes a K. I'm sure there were a few people out there that had a target of 90 minutes. And uh, as you say, Sean, just two minutes to complete that. So if you can hear us and you're on the fishing strip just underneath the stadium, you have two minutes to get home and then 90 minutes. I remember when I was young, I was uh, used to be able to do that. Break 90 minutes for 10 days. About 30 years ago? Well, actually, my personal best is 41 minutes, but uh, that's not uh, split hairs. I think Sean's making a goal for now. The 10k, so surely that would be a target. The sub 41 minutes. Oh, oh, cramp in my car, cramp. And he was holding his hamstring as he did that. Well done to all the runners coming in under 90 minutes. Great goal for, for you today to beat, and uh, you're going to do that comfortably. Still one minute left. So you're on one hour 29 minutes. Everyone in the finishing shoot will finish under 90 minutes. And uh, as you can see, big smiles in the faces as the friends cross the line together. Well done to a group of friends all crossing together with 30 seconds to go to complete the 10 case in under 90 minutes. Great effort today. And there's uh, still quite a few people in the fishing shoot that will do that. And then it will be the post 90 minute finishes. Oh, great effort, and uh, everyone's achieved their goal by just finishing the 10k today. So well to, done to everyone that even started, and I'm sure we'll still have quite a few finishes before the 10k is finished. Kevin Harlock, there in the colours of UCT, walking across the finish line. Well done, young man. <laughs> Finishing with Kevin, we had Amanda De Beer, Liana von Spey, Marlies Berger, also in pink, and Mary Schipper coming home. Well done. Elaine Bossman and Zelda Berger. Andy Siwe Makubula. Sharifa Emandin also home now. Well done.
to Lindsay Ann Peters, Lizzie Ann Glenn, and Mary Hall, and Ramsey, and Palomini, Pompey Fuji. Good to have so many runners and walkers out here. Well done, Spartans! Keeping those arms pumping. Well done, young lady. That's the way it's done. Fish! She's happy! Never in the history of road running has anybody been so happy to finish a race. That's the way it's done, young lady. Great support to Ingo and Herb as well, and a huge celebration is going on here at the finish line. Tim Hubert, the shortest man in the field today, is over the line. Well done, Tim. Tim. We're going to call you Tiny Tim from now on. He's in the colours of Fit 2000. I used to run many races there back in the day. So Tim Michelle. Michelle across the line. Michelle Verity in the colours of the Bank. And, and a special shoops to the girls and the Red Sox from HB. So with the time of the clock just turning over to 1 hour 32, we still got plenty of 10 finishes out there crossing the line and all smiles and faces as they cross uh, straight to the camera. There we go, hands in the air, keep them up to the camera and you get a good shot. Nice smiles, well done. Friends crossing together, 1 hour 32 and 20 seconds. Excellent effort today by you. Smoke at the finish as well to cool you down and your day is done. Well, the club members finishing together. The West Coast Waller Hatties, who just finished in an hour 32, 10 Ks in the back. Now, Ryan, I've just spoken on the phone to Jake Jacobs, the president of Western Province Athletics. He is driving in the lead vehicle at the marathon. He says, the top three men, we've got a leading bunch of three, have just gone through the 30k mark, and one of them is the Ndikaya Ngai. And one or two other runners, I, I'm afraid I couldn't quite catch their names over the phone. There's a bad connection while they're driving, but I do know Ndikai Ngai is in that leading bunch. There's another two runners about 50 meters and 100 meters back from them. So we've got five men up there vying for the title today. Judging by the time they went through the halfway mark, we estimate that our winners should come home around about 218, 219. Chances are they would have been running considerably in the first half and then putting a effort for the last half of the race. So we'll see what they do when they get to the finish. So now the 34 have been passed on the top for the 10k and they're still coming in thick and fast. But also anticipating the uh, marathon finishes, we've just got the reports out from uh, Sean from, from the course and as we said anticipating a finish of about an hour 18 at this stage, things are warming up so we're not too sure whether they'll do a faster split in the second half. In other words, will they be quicker in the second half or the first half? It's not likely that they'll speed up too much because it will be quite warm and they're having a great race, three of them racing out there together. Well, again, I just spoke to Jake Jacobs in the lead vehicle, and he said the top runners, the leaders, went through 32 kilometers in 144, which means if they were to run just over three minutes a K for the rest of the route, they'd be doing another half an hour for 10 Ks, and you're looking at about a 2.15 finish. That's obviously if they can manage a three minute per K pace, so likely they're going quite that fast. So you're looking at between 2.15 and 2.20. Hopefully we'll get a nice fast time. We'll have to wait and see what happens in the rest of the race, though. The marathon, as most of us who have done a marathon before, know, you get to 32 k's and you've been running on uh, the, the energy in your body, thanks 
to your luggage and stores. But the last 10 k's it's about survival. So let's see what happens with our deck. In the meantime, we've still got 10k runners coming in, including these young ladies who are having a really good conversation. I think they've solved world peace and the global economic recession already, judging by that conversation. One hour 35.50 on the clock for them. Seconds. 
And who's the top group of this bus? Who's responsible for this run hogging? Ish. You must keep them in single file next time, Mr. Police Captain. Well done to the ETECO Club. Always love you, Tanya. Where does the ETECO Club stand? I want to come have breakfast with you guys just now. Because they, they've always got enough food to feed an army there. <laughs> And the winner is, 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 Extras and that was huge. What do we have? About 25 people. They actually seem to have lost a couple of passengers. I see three chaps coming up just behind them. And maybe there wasn't room on that bus. So they got group here, a couple more finishes. So the last few from our 10k coming through is for a fantastic effort. One hour 42 minutes. I think it's more a case of, uh, sorry, less a case of the bus being full and passengers not having a seat. More a case of we've got lots of, of paces, lots of speeds. The Tempo Club is one of those clubs that's a lot of development work bringing beginners into the sport and they're all encouraged to go at their own pace and just enjoy themselves. The same thing goes for most of the other clubs in the Western Cape. A lot of them have development initiatives either for beginners or for young athletes. So I love to see when all these athletes come and take part in our events on the road and enjoy themselves. Like these three strapping young fit men from the Iteco Club, looking like world beaters. Well done, guys. Okay, you ladies obviously thought the, the snow was still falling because you were very warmly dressed this morning. I see you've done, done some stripping during the race. Neville Lintner and Julian Wrightson coming in now. How's it guys? Welcome to the finish line. Have you had fun out there? Yeah, that's the spirit. It's a pleasure. Estelle Franca, Dalian Drea and Ingrid Franca. Jessica Paranzi, you're into the last corner, ladies. Here it comes, here it comes. Smile for the camera. And here come my Helderberg Harriers club mates, the red and white stripesers. This is my club. I love these girls. Hello, darling. Are you well? Good to see you girls. Also finishing Benita Swart, Kim Bastian and Rukaya Samsudin. Rukaya, that's a lovely sprint finish. Fadila Patel, have you had fun? Well done, Iteko. Time on the clock, 1 hour 44, 33. Well done Celtics, and I think that's the in touch club as well finishing. Are you in touch, my dear? One hour 45, 14. Oi, you two, are you like having a conversation with us with the crowd here? Don't you want to finish first? 
It's so lacquer here. Is that, I get paid to talk. Can you believe that? I tell you, I've done this race before. Next year, I'll join you. Okay, the glasses are off. Oh, now they've been cleaned. Now you smile for the camera. Boys and girls, there we go. She cleaned her glasses especially for this picture. <laughs> Ivan Charles, are you having fun? Ivan, because it looks like you're waving to the crowd. You must be royalty. Petra Williams, stop looking at your watch and come and finish, man. Come on. Helen, Champagny, Chantal Kelly, Eric Webster and Arthur Dakers. Now those of you next to the finish line, I want you to put your hands together and clap these runners in. You see Eric Webster there in the green colours and you see Arthur Dakers in the red colours. Arthur is over 75, Eric is over 85. Put those hands together and bring these venerable veterans of the road home. Arthur Webster, Arthur, sorry. Eric Webster, Arthur Dakers, well done you lads. Your picture has been taken, now you're going to be a nice cup of cold 
Pictures. One hour 50, 26 on the clock now. Run more five. Hello, ladies. Come on into the finish line. Come and join us. We've kept the medal just for you, lovely ladies. And a special welcome to Delay Gould of the Comrades Marathon Association. Standing here at the finish line, taking pictures by our tiny keepers and commentators saying hello to her. So if you're waiting for the marathon finishes coming in, of course, the, uh, a lot of you enjoying your coke out there, there's breakfast, there's coffee. I'm going to coffee this morning, lining up for the start of the team there. There's um, plenty of options at the kiosk, underneath the Cape Town Yellow uh, banner that's uh, standing outside sort of the McDonald's here. And uh, of course, all the clubs are enjoying their hospitality on the field, under the casinos. So if you want a little bit of uh, interest from a couple of the clubs, maybe you're not a member of the clubs, go and chat to some of those club members and see what they've got in store for you for the rest of the season. The sun is just starting. A lot more races coming up. This is the kickoff to a fantastic season, and what better way to do it on a Saturday morning in Cape Town, really showing off the peace conditions. And uh, now we're just excited to see. The marathon finishes is being passed out at the moment at the front by two of the runners and a couple of them behind also pushing and making sure the guys aren't able to uh, just relax. So it's going to be a great finish and hopefully we'll see that pan out right here. As you see a couple of the last 10k finishes cruising over the line. Passing this I've just had a little chat with Delaine Pools of the Comrades Marathon Association. Is there anybody here who wants to speak to the organizers and officials of Comrades? They've got a gazebo stand and a table right next to the finish line. And sitting at the table is Johan van Staden, the race director of the Comrades Marathon. In other words, if there's something you want to know about Comrades, that's the man to speak to. He knows everything. With him, also from Comrades, all the way down from Peter Maritzburg, Molly and Zane, the lovely ladies who work at the Comrades Marathon Association. So come and say hello. They've got great race information, booklets and brochures. They've got entry forms. So go and, go and chat to them if you need to know anything about Comrades. A reminder, we've got a two-hour cutoff on the 10-kilometer race. It's now 1 hour 54 and 11 seconds. So these 10K runners and walkers in the home stretch, you have made it comfortably. It's another bus from the Lion of Africa East Checo Club coming into the home. I see the rental crowd is going crazy, clapping hands for them. Echeco, come on, wave to the crowd. You've got a standing ovation here today. Let me guess, is this your first 10K, young man? There we go. Are, are you other than Echeco runners finished? You're not supposed to cross the line twice, remember folks? Okay, why don't you clap your hands for these ladies? Yeah. Someone almost caught from there. Ladies, I got them to clap hands for you. There we go. So just five minutes to go for the cutoff. The cutoff for the 10K is two hours. And what a beautiful two hours you would have spent if you'd been on the course. Uh, this morning, perfect conditions, and there are a few more finishes within the next five minutes, so make sure to give them a big round of applause as they finish their efforts. 
And of course, what happens is that the 10 day race uh, cutoff gun gets fired at two hours, which is in four and a half minutes. Then, give or take 10 minutes later, we should have the winner of the marathon hitting the finish line. So we've got Benjamin Spikeman coming up here at the finish. Come and join us if you want to see what happens with the winner's marathon coming in. Last we heard, Lindy Kaya, Mitzin Dai, and Paul Mizwan, sorry, I'm not again, Paul Mizwan there, were in the lead. They were six k's out, which was eight minutes ago. So, which means they are very, very close now. That's it. The Iteco Club, more of their beginners and young runners, as I like to call them. Ladies, you look lovely, you look super athletic. Bring yourselves over the finish line, we've got medals for you. Well done. One hour, 56, 55 on the clock for you. Yes, 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 you've got to give each other a nice big hug and a kiss. You've done it together. Well done. Well done, well done. Arini, come here. Arini, come here. Thank you very much. It was effective. People Great. I'm going to say a special thanks to Chris that has just been served to the commentary team and the timekeeping team here at the finish line. But no matter if you're hungry or thirsty, there are food and drink stores on the forecourt area. Go and support them. And uh, I, I'm going to personally say go get a breakfast at Curtis and Way. We now have 1 minute and 15 seconds to go until the cutoff gun is fired in the 10 kilometer race. I'm looking across the home stretch, the last corner. I don't see any more runners approaching the finish line. So hopefully we won't have any drama of people just missing the cut today. Yeah, they have one minute to go and uh, that would be quite a tall order. Just keep an eye on the steady one and see if you can see anyone sneaking in and try and get some encouragement going. In the meantime, here's some news about results because runners always want to know where can I see what my time was. The timing today is being done by Finish Time, so you can go to www.finishtime.coza. You can get all your results, they are already online, folks. So if you've got your smartphone with you, go online, you can go check your results. Not only can you look at your finishing time, you can also use their software package and check your splits, your average pace, all that kind of stuff. You can even print yourself a certificate, a finishes certificate with your finish time of the event. And what's more, within about 24 hours finish time, we'll be putting up the video that they're taking here on the finish line, which means that you can even see yourself finishing. That was the official cutoff gun of the 10 kilometer race. Thank you for warning me, Mr. Official. I'm now deaf in one ear, but I won't hold it against you. So no drama for that cutoff time of two hours. Everybody in within the two hour cutoff, nice and safety. 
the next bit of action, of course, will be a bit of drama, and that's going to be the finish of the marathon. The time at the moment is on 2 hours, 10 minutes, and 28 seconds. So Sean and I reckon we'll be at the finish at home in about 8 minutes' time. Keep an eye on that, and we'll get reports back from the, the, the field. And they should be running around the promenade at the moment, sort of around the pool area, and then heading back towards the stadium. A huge incentive to get back there as quick as they can. Great prize money and a very popular marathon to add to anyone's um, list of achievements. So they guys are really tightly at the moment, and we can't wait to see who's going to actually cross the first as um, the ribbon gets taken to the and uh, in anticipation of the first finisher. Right, update from out on the course. Lindy Curry, Mitty Barney, has broken away from Paul Mwanda and he's got about a 15 meter lead and he's at the Willie Point Lighthouse. Which means, folks, he is almost here. If you, if you want to come down to the finish line and see the marathon winners come in, make your way down to the finish line now. And we apparently have one 10 kilometer athlete still coming home. Folks, he's missed the cutoff, but he's still jogging. Come on, put those hands together. Bring this man home. Young man, never have you ever been so popular in your life. <laughs> he, he looks pretty sure, and I'm sure he just stopped for a swim at the sea point pool. Um, yeah, he could have done that under two hours, easy. Either that or his alarm clock didn't go off this morning. <laughs> We should be expecting the, the first runner in the marathon any second now. He should be coming uh, from the lighthouse to this finishing point right underneath the stadium. What an amazing place to finish right under this iconic design in uh, at the Cape Town Stadium. And uh, he's broken away. He's all alone. But he'll be striding out to make sure that he still doesn't get caught by number two. So let's look out for him. He should be here any moment now. The time on the clock now in the marathon, 2 hours, 14 minutes and 50 seconds. We estimate the winner of the marathon will be here in the next maybe 2-3 to three minutes. He will take, last we heard it was Lindy Kai, Mitchell Guy in the lead, Paul Mwanza in second. Has, was about 50 meters behind those when they went past the lighthouse. For those of you who know Cape Town, the Woody Point Lighthouse is just next door and not far away. 
Jake Jacobs, who was driving the lead vehicle, has shot ahead. He is already at the finish line, which therefore means that the winners are very, very close now. Yes, Jake confirms. Lindy Kai is now about 100 meters ahead of Paul. Paul Manzwa. We've got the police vehicles coming towards the finish line, the flashing blue light brigade is here. That means the winner of the race is just about here. No, 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 this is not the winner of the race. This is, this is Farouk, who's one of our officials. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the 2013 Cape Town City Marathon is about to hit the finish line. Good time now, just over 2.20 on the clock. 
Come on, folks, bring him home. Of course, don't forget we're going to be waiting for our top women to be finishing in a short while, so don't go too far away from the finish line. We'll be waiting to see who comes home there. This is Siabonga Makaluta of Kamatek Striders. Well done, Siabonga. Welcome to the finish line, young man. Two hours, 20.35. Finish under the first lady, possibly home in around 2 hours 40, 2 hours 45. In the ladies' race, I know that Kim Maxton of Sunning Hill Striders has come down to the Cape to try and run a fast time. She said before the race she was trying to break 2.40 and she did the halfway in exactly 1.20, so let's see what she can do. Oh, Kim Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So big gap at the moment between uh, 7 and 8 and uh, 8 is actually coming in now so we'll give you a report on who that is but you can see the top 7 really did pass it out and now a bit of a gap as the rest of the runners are going to start coming in they're going to come in thick and fast from there on in Now we've got the prize giving for the 10 kilometer race is about to start in about 7 or 8 minutes You will see on the field where all the club tents are if you're standing with your back towards the athletic stadium, looking towards Cape Town, there's a stage up there, that's where prize giving will take place. I'm going to be walking around there. So Ryan will stay on the finish line and welcome in some runners. I'll be heading around to do prize giving for the 10K. Please come and join us there if you want a prize. Another party shoulders run there, Sarami, Vincent, Katana and East. Cross the line in 2 hours, 24 minutes and 21 seconds. Well done in 8th place. Oh my God. 
So still not top 10 home yet. Here comes our ninth runner. Still uh, two places up for grams. We've got one of them being claimed right now. And uh, then just one more left for top 10. Always a prestigious number to claim. And that's Michael Cheptu. Michael Cheptu crossing the line now. Well done. Microphone check. Microphone check. So that's time runners home in the marathon in two hours 25, just one place up for grabs for the top 10 left. And here he comes now with a nice strong finish. Nobody behind him, but he doesn't know that. He's finishing really hard. Obviously got his personal targets that he wants to reach as well. He's going to finish in about two hours 27 minutes. Give a hand for the last runner in the top 10. That's a huge well done to Oscar Sikorka. Well done, Oscar. Top 10, our last uh, man in the top 10. So it's a top 10 men home in the uh, marathon distance. We're going to be doing the prize giving for a whole lot of the other categories with Sean underneath the Coca-Cola. And I'm not the finish, um, but actually towards where you uh, exited the shoot from the 10 k run, that's the Coca-Cola banner. And Sean will be doing the prize giving there shortly. Well, it looks like if there was a team uh, prize today, Carlton Strikers would have done extremely well. But here's another guy with this yellow. Oh, what have we got? Orange. I'm not going to miss him on the course. And that's Lucas Roth. Cross the red to in 11th place. Well done, Lucas. So it's pretty lonely up front for the uh, runners that are in the top 20 now, all running as individuals, but there are a lot more people out on the course, a couple of thousand people. They're, uh, they're taking in all these sights and sounds of Cape Town, out towards Ronnebosch, through Earthlone and back through Pinelands, Woodstock, under the mountain all the time. And hopefully they're running with their eyes up, taking in all the uh, majesty of Cape Town. It's a special marathon and an incredibly cool course with conditions like this. It really is the pick of the punch this year and I'm sure every single person out on the course really enjoying it. We enjoying welcoming them home and uh, I think they're going to come through thick and fast within the next half hour. So uh, look out for your favorite finisher. I'm sure you are supporting uh, an individual either first time or somebody coming out to do their PB. It is a fast and fast course and this is the one you want to run if you want to come and go and get your personal best time. So make sure that you give a huge round of applause for your favorites as they cross the line. That's two and a half hours uh, past now on the marathon. We've only had 11 finishes. So the rest of the field still out there, all with their personal goals and uh, times that they wish to beat 
or times that that they have uh, their eyes set on and two and a half hours is the time on the clock at the moment the cutoff is eight hours today it's uh, set up so that you can also walk this race and what a great day those walkers are going to have out there today a nice cool start and even a little bit of a breeze still at the moment but with the sun beating down so they're going to be having a fantastic time out there Alrighty folks, just a quick update. We've decided that uh, because the women's winners of the marathon cracked first in the stadium, we're going to hold the prize giving for the 10 kilometer over just a little bit longer. We do apologize for uh, announcing it and then delaying it, but it was a decision taken because we wanted to have a bit of live on the finish line for the winners of the women's race coming in. And as we said, the uh, 12th place finisher for the men's, and that's Bernard. Rick and that, uh, he was doing a stream well at the halfway point, also runs right through the winter season in the cross country and uh, does extremely well in the trail series. Well done, Bernard. Bernard is, of course, one of the top trail runners based in the Cape area here, very well known, along with Nicholas Rapunga, the two smiling trail runners. And he crossed the line in two hours 31, just over two hours 31, so a huge effort from him today. This will be our thirteenth runner home, lucky number thirteen from Hafei Anda Lubalwana. And just behind him coming home in fourteen, Fakadisa Kokoro. He's running in the colours of Hailey Chat and the Lady Club. Time on the clock now, 2 hours 32, 32. Just a little update, we haven't got a, a notification out on the course. But in terms of the women's race, one of the pre-race favourites was Ken Laxton and she said she was aiming for a 2.40 today. Time on the clock, 2.32. So we estimate that if she's on target, Kim and any other runners running at that pace could be finishing in within the next 8 minutes. As they say, watch this space.
Right, give it.
Right, folks, 2 hours 40 on the clock, which means Kim Lexton and some of the other women who are aiming for a 2.40 time haven't quite made it today, but they can't be too far away now, so stick around on the finish line and help us bring the leading women home in the 2013 Cape Town City Marathon. Of course, the top 20 places up for grabs have uh, all been claimed. All the finishes are the top 20 home. In fact, we have to number 23 home. So let's see where the first lady can finish as well. Certainly in the top 50 and perhaps in the top 30 as well. She'll probably have a couple of guys running around her. The first lady often does, and they end up pacing her, which is quite, quite a cool way for her to get her best time if they don't get in the way. But uh, at the moment, 2 hours 41, and uh, that is the time that we suspect she'll be coming in around. So give or take a couple of minutes, and we think the first lady will be home soon. The 24th runner coming home now. It looks like it could be another Crooks runner. Great representation by Crooks today. Which, which also means that Crooks is likely to take a team prize. That is subject to confirmation. Oh, I stand corrected. There'll be the second team prize. Sorry. It's Crooks to Petros Pashim. 2.41.53. Subject to confirmation, sounds like the new fans have taken the team prize. Our ladies winner is about to enter the finishing stretch. First we've got Eric Boyan, Charles Chisuko finishing up in the marathon for the men. Our women's winner is about to turn into the last stretch. He's under the yellow banner. Come on folks, put those hands together. Let's bring our 2013 Cape Town City Marathon Women's Champion home in style. The time on the clock is now 2.42.31. She's about to hit the last timing that day. She's running at the cousin of the little boy. where we thought she'd be and that's an excellent run she must have been chasing those guys with great pace features and this looks like what Kim Laxton might be on yes it is Kim Laxton running in the colors of Sunning Hill Striders from Joburg she's going to come home second in the women's marathon here coming in for the time of two hours So only a minute separating the first and second ladies, what an awesome race and of course both of them hugely ecstatic with their finishes, it looks like a PB for Kim Laxton from Sunny Hill Striders and uh, an amazing feat by both of them in, in the weather, it was hotting up out there, not just between the two of them but the weather as well and uh, to finish under 2 hours 45 is a huge feat. And well done to Mark Smapakula of BOB finishing up there. Those legs are a little bit tired now. I can just tell you now, I've just had a word with Kim Laxton. She just took four minutes off her personal best in the marathon. That's incredible running. Well done, Kim Laxton. Second woman home, a PB by four minutes. Can we have a medic on the finish line, please? Warren Kidgel and Manda Pangalele also finished in the marathon. Well done to them. Thank <laughs> you. 
So still putting your places up for grabs in the top 50, which is often a goal for a lot of the runners out there, the social run, well not the social runners, but the non-professionals. Two hours 45 on the clock so far, so also sub three, not an issue at the moment. Still 15 minutes to go for a lot of people that will have that as a target. Another Gooks runner and a couple of guys behind him, another teammate and uh, runner from AAC, finishing strongly just outside the top 30 and safely inside the top 50. The time of the clock, 2 hours 46 40, guys. Excellent run, well done down there to Juan La Pangele, Zika, Kaipa, and Warren Jepe. Juan Sianda, another Gooks runner, excellent time. Excellent place, and that is in the men's 40 to 49 Masters category. Excellent time as well. You guys finishing under two hours 48. The Strand runner coming in to finish strongly as well. Thank you, Nepal. Well done. Well, that Andrew Swift, amazing run, well done there, that's going to be a PB, 2 hours 48 on the dot, excellent, father of twins and he just cruises over the line, it's an easy day out for him, compared to the baby twins that is. And a five minute PB, that must be getting up in the morning with the crying babies and an extra little bit of training time. At the same time, Christopher Mitchell crossed the line and the Masters, excellent time for Christopher as well, under 2.50. VOB coming through strongly as well, excellent, well done Kyle for Bwane, 2 hours 48, 52 minutes and he looks like he could have pushed on for an ultra, no problem. And Ryan, it looks like our third woman over the line, Kerry Ann Smith, might be entering the finishing stretch there. There she is in the, in the finishing, chasing hard as well, she's got a solid third place finish. Just behind Gam, Johnny Cheese, Wild Gam, Kerry Ann Smith, coming to finish for the ladies in the head band colors. Amazing third place, well done Kerry Ann Smith, in 2 hours 49, safely under 2 hours 50, plenty of seconds to spare. Raymond de Klerk follows her, and uh, he's also had a fantastic run, as well as the officer's pride as well. Right so folks, the prize giving for the 10 kilometer race as well as the 4.2 kilometer mini marathon will now be starting 
on the stage, which is in here on the cross area, just to the uh, side of the finishing stretch. You'll see there's a stage set up here amongst the club tents. That's the stage. If you are one of the category prize winners in the 10 kilometer or in the mini marathon, please come closer. They will be asking you to come up onto the stage and collect your medals and prize money. Well done to Raymond de Clerc and uh, James Matthews, amazing, or Matthew James. Excellent time, 2.50, the two half bay runners. They didn't have to travel too far, but uh, they're loving their Cape Town Marathon. And Paul Worsnaf, one and four from Westville. On the top 50 uh, finishes, and this is Pingo Natsuba and Eurelia Ruto. What well done for the fourth lady and uh, one of the masters finishes for the men as well. Fourth lady, uh, well done. Another net bank team finisher. Ladies, for oh, two hours 51 and 50 seconds. We're calling on all our 10 kilometer prize winners to please come to the stage. Now we're about to commence with the mock giving. Still eight minutes in the bag before the three hour cut, cut off, or it's not a cut off, but it's a target time for a lot of runners to get a three hour marathon or a sub three hour marathon is a huge goal for a lot of runners. Here come two of them that are going to be successful, and at this stage, they'll also be in the top 50 overall. Yusuf Kanani from uh, Netbank and Alice Craig, well done, amazing time. You guys saved the end of three hours, two hours, 53 minutes, well done. Great race out there. Right folks, we are now going to start the prize giving for the 10 kilometer race. We will start with the women's Grand Masters. What we're going to do is we're going to call the top three in each category up. You're going to come around the back of the stage because there are some stairs at the back here. Up onto the stage, collect the medal. On your way down again, you sign the paperwork so that the money in your prize money can be sent to you via EFT. Right, without further ado, women's Grand Masters. Third position from Belleville, Marita Herbert clocking 52.39. In second position from Celtic Harriers, just ahead of her, 51.56 on the clock, Pixie Spa. And the winner of the event, in yet again one of the all-time greatest runners in South African history, from all the way from Johannesburg, Rand Athletic Club, clocking 46.45, Sonia Laxton. If those lovely ladies could come and stand on the stage with us, please. We've got with us today Mr. Nazim Arinser, Arinser, sorry, of the city of Cape Town, handing over medals, as well as Jake Jacobs, the president of Western Province Athletics. And on the finish line it was Dion Middlecoff who finishes uh, sub three as well. Well done to Dion and to Joseph Masubula. Well done, Joseph um, Cryfontaine.
Right, while the Grandmaster ladies are having their picture taken, I'm going to call on the Grandmaster men to come up. In third position from Boxburg, all the way in the Gauteng, 44-36 on the clock, Hans Slip. Second position from Durbanville, clocking 42-41, it's Barry Vesta. And the winner of the race today in the Grandmaster category, I see him walking towards me, he clocked 39.08. One day when I grow up, I want to be able to run that fast. In the colours of Edgemead runners, it's Clive Owen. And on the uh, finish line, well done to Andres Makoke. That's still under three hours and uh, four minutes left on the clock for that goal as well. So still four minutes for the people out on the course that are going for the magical sub three hour marathon. So folks, just to repeat a round of applause here. Bronze medalist today, Hans Sleep of Boxburg. Next to him, sold medal to Barry Fester of Durbanville and the winner of the Grandmaster category. Getting his medal right now, Clive Owen of Edgemead. Right, they're, they're having their paparazzi moment. I'm going to move on to the women's masters, the 50 to 59 age category. In third position from the Nedbank Running Club here in the Western Province, clocking 47-53 at Charmaine Cupido. The silver medal all the way from Axis VOB in Cape Town, clocking 46-08, Beck Charters. And the winner of the women's masters category, Clocking 42-13, Mariette Strauss from the Tigerberg Athletic Club. Well done, ladies. Essie, you have the middle gaan staan for the photo keer. In the middle, Fiddle. Yeah. Right, we move on to the male 50-59, the men's masters. In third position from Google Air 2, clocking 40.07, Mondi Tutani. Second position, he's already had to leave because he had to go to work. He let us know earlier, he clocked 39.48 from Durbanville, it was Ludwig Lilly. And the winner of the men's masters today, 38.36 from Google Air 2, Mpendulu Mpukane. And on the finish line, we have a couple of strong finishes with just two hours, two minutes left for sub three. But well done to Cliff Robertson, David Ogg as well, Jean Marie Vinay as well. Well done, Jean Marie. This is our men's masters winner, Mpendulo Humpukani of Google Air 2. He's going to have his picture taken up. Right, I move on to the women's veterans, the age group 40 to 49. In third position from New Balance Multisport, clocking 45 47, Tanya Cup. While she's moving up to the stage, her teammate in second position, also from New Balance Multisport, clocking 42-49, Cheryl DeLunger. And the winner of the women's veterans category from Edgemead Runners, clocking 41-09, Sandra Van Gron. And Edgemead Renter Crowd goes crazy. Again. And with just 50 seconds to go for a sub three, at the Hot Bay runner Matthias Kanisu looks like he could be the last runner in the three hours. There is another runner in the shoot. He's got 40 seconds to go to sub three. If you can help him home, maybe he can make that goal. He needs to get here over the finish line in 40 seconds uh, to be under three hours for the marathon. Ryan, bring him home. 30 seconds to go. He's going to do it. He's going to do it at that pace. He's got. 25 seconds to go, so he's got it in the bag, he can put his fist up there, he's the last finish out in the three hours, fantastic finish and well done 
their two first team of five out of BC and that is our 50 foot finisher in his category at 2 hours 59 and 48 seconds. Thanks for that Ryan. Now we move on to the men's veterans in the 10 kilometer. Third position from Dwarfs Rafid Athletic Club, 34-49 on the clock. Stalbert Peterser. As he moves towards the stage, the second position, our former SA 800 meter track and field champion, now doing road running in the colors of Line of Africa Iteco, clocking 34-29, it's Sean Abrahams. And our winner today, also running for Line of Africa Iteco, clocking 33-31, Graham Cutson.